Hi beautiful guys and gals, Taylor here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my series Reading Time with Taylor. Uh, tonight we are going to be reading the book Pokemon, the Pokemon Deluxe Essential Handbook. Now I am going to tell you right now that this book is going to have its uh, separate playlist because uh, depending if you can see how many pages there are, almost 400 pages. It's yeah, it's got almost 400 pages. Um, if I added this all to my reading time with Taylor playlist, it wouldn't be fair. So anyway, uh, when this video gets uploaded, there will be a <clears throat> there will be a playlist called Reading Time with Taylor, book number two, and uh, the video names will have uh, the letter A section, B section, C section, and so on. So tonight we are going to start with the A section. So let's get this started. Now this is going to be a little bit tough since I have to hold the pages down, but I think we can manage. Alright, here we have how to use this book, its name, how to say it, its height and weight, the possible moves it can learn, the description, evolution, if it has a mega evolution, its type, and its region that you can find it in. Alright, here are the different types. Fire, grass, water, normal, electric, bug, ghost, flying, fighting, Psychic, Steel, Rock, Ground, Ice, Poison, Dark, Dragon, and Fairy. I like how for uh, the normal through the fairy type, for the fi for Fire, Grass, Electric, Water, Psychic, Dark, and Ice, they use all the evolutions. Alright, ready? Let's do this. First Pokemon, Obama Snow, the Frost Tree Pokemon. Snow-covered mountains are Obama Snow's preferred habitat. It creates blizzards to hide itself and keep others away. Here are its list of moves. And here is its mega evolution. That's pretty impressive. Up next, Abra, the Psy Pokemon. Even while Abra is sleeping, which it is most of the time, it can escape a foe by teleporting away. If it doesn't get enough sleep, it's power fit. Wow. Here is its evolution chain. The only move it can know is teleport, which is a real shame. All right, Absol, the disaster Pokemon. Absol doesn't often appear to people, but when it does, they should pay attention. It leaves its mountain home to warn others of an approaching disaster. And here's what Mega Absol looks like. And there's its moves. Up next, Excelgore, the shell out Pokemon. After coming out of its shell, Excelgore is light and quick, moving with the speed of a ninja. It wraps its body to keep up to keep it from drying out. As you can see, it evolves from that Pokemon, which we will read when we reach the S section. All right, Aegislash, the Royal Sword Pokemon. I think it means the Royal Shield Pokemon, but anyway. Aegislash has long been seen as a symbol of royalty. In olden days, these Pokemon often accompany, accompanied the king. Here are its two different forms. Shield form, when it uses its move King Shield, and Blade form, when it uses an attack. And you can see right here that it says King Shield. Okay. Aerodactyl, the fossil Pokemon. This Pokemon was restored from a piece of fossilized amber. It said that Aerodactyl ruled skies in its ancient world. Oh wow, look at Mega Aerodactyl, everybody. Up next, Agron, the Iron Armor Pokemon. Agron is extremely protective of the mountain it claims as its territory. After a natural disaster, it will work tirelessly to restore its mountain, rebuilding the topsoil and planting trees. Wow, look at Mega Agron. Anyway. Apom, the long tail Pokemon. Apom uses the appendage at the end of its tail just like a hand. Its actual hands have lost their de dexterity because it relies so much on its tail. <coughs> kind of sad to be honest. Alakazam, the Psy Pokemon. Because its brain never stops growing, Alakazam must use telekinesis to hold up its heavy head. On the plus side, its memory and in intellect are amazing. Yeah, they say that it has the brain of a supercomputer, which is nuts. Alomomola, the caring Pokemon. 
When a Lomomola finds injured Pokemon in the open sea where it lives, it gently wraps its healing fins around them and guides them to shore. Altaria, the humming Pokemon. When Altaria sings through the sky in its beautiful soprano voice, anyone listening falls into a happy daydream. Its soft, cottony wings are perfect for catching up drafts. I have to say, Mega Altaria is one of my favorite Pokemon because of how it looks and its typing. So not only did it, because it, it becomes a dragon type, it also becomes a dragon fairy type. Well, it, it's a dragon flying type normally, but it, all, but it becomes a dragon fairy type when it mega evolves. Amora, the Tundra Pokemon. In the ancient world, Amora's cold habitat kept predators at bay. It was restored from a frozen fragment. That is a true statement. Ambipom, the long tail Pokemon, and the evolved form of Apom. Because Apom's two tails are so dexterous, it rarely uses its arms after evolving. Groups of Ambipom will sometimes link tails as a sign of friendship. I know I said the evolved form of Apom. Take a pause here for a minute. Um, I would say it for every Pokemon, but um, until we read the actual Pokemon uh, that it evolves from or it's pre-evolved from, I'm not going to say it for every single Pokemon. Anyway, Amoongus, the mushroom Pokemon. In a swaying dance, Amoongus waves its arm caps, which look like Pokeballs, in an attempt to lure the unwary. It doesn't often work, which is true. Ampharos, the light Pokemon. Ampharos shines so brightly that its light can be seen over long distances. Long ago, people used this light to send signals from far away. Check out Mega Ampharos! Wow, when a Mega evolves, it becomes an electric dragon type. I've always wanted to use a Mega Ampharos on my team, but I could never find an Ampharos to catch for my team. Anyway, Anorith, the old shrimp Pokemon. Its eight wings along Anorith's body wave in a sequence to propel it through the worn seas where it lives. It was restored from a fossil. Arbok, the Cobra Pokemon. A powerful constrictor, Arbok can crush a steel barrel and its mighty coils. Getting out of its grip is no small feat. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. Arcanine's internal flame is the fuel for its amazing speed and endurance. It runs for a whole day. It can cover more than 6,000 miles. Holy cow. Arceus, the Alpha Pokemon. This is a mythical Pokemon. It's also a legendary. In the mythology of the Sinnoh region, Arceus emerged from its egg into complete nothingness, then shaped the world and everything in it. It's pretty dang impressive. Anyway, let's go. Okay. Arkin, the, the first bird Pokemon. It is believed that the modern-day flying Pokemon descended from the ancient Arcan. Even though its wings aren't strong enough for flight, it was restored from a fossil. Check it out. Alright. Archaeops, the first bird Pokemon, and the evolved form of Arcan. After evolving, Archaeops can fly, though they aren't very good at it. They need a running start to get airborne and can generally get around more reliably than running. Ariados, the long-legged Pokemon. The web Ariado spins is made of silk, strong enough to bind and hold an enemy. The tiny hooks on its feet make it an excellent climber. Nice. Armaldo, the plate Pokemon, and the evolved form of Anorith. With its huge claws and armored body, Armaldo is well equipped for battle. It has adapted to walk on its hind legs so it can live on land. Aromatisse, the fragrance Pokemon. Aromatisse uses its powerful scent as a weapon in battle. It can overpower an opponent with a strategic stench. Now, if you guys, um, once my Pokemon Shield uh, episode um, uploads, I said in the, and I said in that episode that I always wanted to use Aromatisse since I always use Sprit, that, since I used a Spritzy, but I never got it to evolve into Aromatisse. Anyway, Aeron, the air, the Iron Armor Pokemon. Aeron chews up metal objects from iron ore to steel bridges and uses the metal to build up its body. It can destroy a heavy truck with a full speed charge. That little thing? Holy moly. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon, a legendary. Nice. So majestic. When Articuno flaps its wings, the air turns chilly. 
This legendary Pokemon often brings snowfall in its wake. Audino, the hearing Pokemon. With, with the sensitive feelers on their ears, Audino can listen to people's heartbeats to pick up on their current state. Egg hatching can be predicted as well. Look, check out Mega Audino. It's very pretty. <laughs> Mega Audino is known as the light Pokemon and it turns into a normal fairy type. Pretty. All right. Aurorus, the Tundra Pokemon, and the evolved form of Amora. With the icy crystals that line its sides, Aurorus can freeze the surrounding air and trap its foes in ice. As much as I would love to do Aurorus, Aurorus, Aurorus's call in the Pokemon game, it's uh, that's not appropriate uh, for the for reading time. But I will eventually. Maybe I'll do a Pokemon impression episode. You never know. Anyway, Avalog, the iceberg Pokemon. Avalog's broad, flat back is a common resting place for groups of Bergmite. Its big, bulky body could crush obstacles in its path. Check out that big boy. Holy cow. Axew, the tusk Pokemon. If one of Axew's tusks breaks off, it quickly regrows, even stronger and sharper than before. It uses its tusks to crush berries and mark territory. <coughs> Sorry. Azelf, the willpower Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon. According to legend, Azelf brought a lasting balance to the world. It is known as the being of willpower. Good looking Pokemon, too. Azumarill, the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. When Azumarill spots a Pokemon struggling in the water, it creates a balloon of air so the other Pokemon can breathe. It has excellent hearing. And Azuril, the Polka Dot Pokemon. Azuril can fling itself more than 10 yards by spinning the large ball at the end of its tail and then throwing it. It can also use the tail to bounce around. All right, guys. Well, that's, that's the end of the A section. But trust me, as we continue on in the book, the sections will get longer and longer. So that's why I decided to have a uh, different playlist. But it will still be under the name Reading Time with Taylor. It'll just have a different playlist because we have a lot of... We have the whole alphabet of Pokemon to get through. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!